Hi everyone, Jordy here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I'll teach you the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I got a lot of questions about adding motion blur to animated text or graphics, and it is actually possible and quite easy, but it has a limited use. The trick to adding motion blur is using the transform effect. You can find this in your effects panel. Now once you put this on your clip, you'll see transform settings that you can adjust. These are exactly the same as your motion properties. So let's make a quick animation with this effect. Move to the beginning of the clip and set a position keyframe. Then move a couple of frames further and set another keyframe. This time adjust the position. And this gives you a simple position animation without motion blur so far. To enable motion blur, disable this checkbox, which means that you don't want to use the composition shutter angle, but set one of your own. To get natural motion blur, set the shutter angle to 180 degree. You'll only see the result of this once your video creates motion, hence why it's called motion blur. So when we look at the animation, now we get some beautiful motion blur. This is also good to make a transition where a clip has to fly in, which can be from either side of the screen. You can also use this to have a very cool zoom effect. Instead of only adjusting the position, adjust the scale as well. You can even do this with rotation. So many possibilities. And that's it for today, guys. To learn more about Adobe Premiere Pro, check out our in-depth class on Skillshare by clicking that first link in the description down below. And as always, stay creative.